Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your November 22nd, 2018 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Four of Wands just popped out there, but we'll keep going. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in that order, please. Oh. All right. All right, Geminis, you guys have the Five of Wands in reverse. Libra, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Aquarius, you guys have the Six of Swords. Your guys' shared energy is judgment. Wow. Clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Your bottom of the deck is the Devil in reverse with the star right underneath it. Holy cow. Your guys' energy is just, wow. Let me get my clar a clarifying deck out here. So, yeah, um, second chances are coming. Uh, somebody that you feel you are meant to be with. Um, this is just so amazing. So, with Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune here together, uh, it's just absolutely amazing. You're getting a second chance. Could be with a Sagittarius um, because you have the Seven of Wands and Wheel of Fortune here. Um, but this is coming back together. Uh, you you know this person in this lifetime. Uh, Gemini, you guys have the Five of Wands in reverse. So you're no longer fighting this connection. You are now wanting to move forward. You could have had gone through a transformation. Yeah, Justice. This is somebody who you're meant to be with, with judgment, justice, wheel of fortune. No doubt about it. This person is going to be a relationship that's balanced and fair and you've dealt with all your karma and you deserve this relationship. Gemini females, you guys have the four of pentacles. So this person considers you very precious to them or you, you to them. Um, you are uh, keeping out, blocking out all outside competition. You're holding tight to this person because you know what it's like to be without them. You are coming back into a relationship with this person and you're not going to let them go. Uh, I didn't call for that one. Libra men. You guys are are coming back together and ready to create. Ooh. Could be with a fire sign female. Got the queen of wands here with the moon. Um, you could have a secret relationship with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo. And you're going to make that public. Um, you're facing your fear and you're going to go for it. This is going to be a beautiful connection. Um, this is somebody that you've been with before, um, but not in a relationship. You could be good friends. You could have just had a sexual relationship and no commitment. But this is amazing for you guys. Libra females, you have the lovers in reverse. So you had a choice to make and you didn't make a choice. So the universe is making one for you. They are pushing in that direction. This is going to make you very happy though. You are kind of guarded. You're trying to keep it out. You're trying to um, not let love in because you are scared of hurt for you Li Libra females. All right. Aquarius men, king of swords. Nice. Taking action. Taking action and moving forward with somebody that you want to be with. This You could be leaving a marriage. You could be leaving a committed relationship. But you and someone else are moving forward in, um, in a very spiritual, divine relationship. Getting the courage to face your fear and move away into um, a path that you really want to be in. Um, <clears throat> way too many there. Aquarius females. Whew. The hermit in reverse. So um, you, it's calling for you guys to move forward, move away from this toxic, rough relationship that you're currently in or situation doesn't necessarily have to be in a relationship. And it's time for some healing because the universe has somebody here for you. And boy, are they amazing. Let me tell you what. So um, it's time to go within. It's time to find your own inner light and move forward into something that is more serving for you. All right. Yeah. 
amazing energy for the day, though, guys. All right. Can I get one card for Zodiac, please? Let's do Gemini first. All right, Gemini, codependency, Libra, calling in your soulmate, <clears throat> and Aquarius. That one came flying out, too. Deception. All right, so Aquarius, I, I had a feeling this was going to come out for you guys, actually. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. It's time to move away from that. It's time to go towards something that's more suitable, something that um, the universe has in place for you because you got good, good things coming for you. Um, the wheel is in the upright. So it's time for you to enjoy um, a relationship without the toxicity and move more into uh, smooth waters. Libra, amazing. Calling in your soulmate. You guys are, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. And you will create the family you've always dreamed of very soon. And Gemini, you guys have codependency. So um, some of you could... Uh, be holding off leaving somebody um, because of oops because of their codependency but for a lot of you this has to do with uh, chemicals or alcohol substance um, addictions are affecting your romantic life for you Gemini you have a lot of inner inner demons uh, inner conflict within yourself that you have to deal with and and you're trying to deal with them with alcohol and drugs and that's not going to work it's not so in order for your karma to be balanced out, in order for this uh, second chance at life, at relationships um, filled with good luck and fortune, you have to deal with those codependencies. You have to um, deal with what it is that is uh, holding you back. And obviously that's not going to be for everybody. So I'm sorry. If, well, I'm not sorry if that message isn't for you, but you're lucky if that one's not for you. But um, somebody had to hear that. So Gemini... Um, stay strong, um, deal with what is going on with what inside and you will have much good things coming in your direction. So, all right, air signs. I hope you have a beautiful Thanksgiving as always. I send you love, light, and God bless.